Hi, I'm Preston from MegaWare Kilgard and thank you for your purchase. Today we'll be walking you through the installation steps and show you a few insider tips to make installation a breeze. The Kilgard is designed to protect the whole of your boat from sand, rocks, oyster beds, and even concrete ramps. Before we start, make sure your boat's hull is compatible. Kilgards adhere great to fiberglass and aluminum. However, some aluminum boats have a protruding channel or rib at the keel or have large rivets that could allow air or water inside and jeopardize the bond. Many newer personal watercrafts have radically designed holes with complex curves and contours that will not allow a full surface bond. We also don't recommend installing a kill guard if your trailer is designed with the weight of the boat resting on the rollers or a support beam along the keel. However, if the rollers can be lowered or the side bunks raised to clear the rollers, you'll be good to go. Kill guards are available in many different colors, allowing you to either match your boat's hole or accent the trim for a unique custom look. They are also offered in different sized lengths for different sized boats. If you're not sure what length is best for your boat, check out our website at killguard.com. It's okay if it's a bit longer for extra protection, we just don't want to go any shorter than what's recommended. Each kit will come with everything you need to install the kill guard, except the cleaning agent which will be used in step two. Before installing your kill guard, be sure the hole temperature is at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit. On fiberglass boats like these, it might take a long time for the fiberglass temperature to acclimate to air temperature. Keep in mind, even if the outside temperature is well above 60 degrees, your boat's hole might not be. It is also crucial that the fiberglass is completely dry. It might feel dry to the touch. However, if you're in a humid environment or experience extreme temperatures, it's best to pull your boat inside or use a heater or lamps to warm and dry the hole. If your keel has severe damage already to the point where water has seeped into the fiberglass, you'll want to have that repaired. The repair doesn't have to be pretty, but again, we want to make sure that fiberglass is completely dry. MegaWare Kill Guards are installed in four simple steps. Etching, cleaning, priming, and applying. Today we're going to be using a few optional tools to make our job a little easier and a bit more professional. These include a shop creeper, a mallet, a pencil, and masking tape. To start, first determine where your waterline is. We'll want to mount the kill guard six to eight inches above that waterline. I'm going to start by masking this off with a piece of tape. Step one, etching. A helpful tip is to mask exactly where the kill guard will go, ensuring that the hole is etched only where needed. This also helps align it during install. To do this, mark around the edge of the kill guard and then follow your guide marks with masking tape. Then thoroughly etch the surface. Etching is extremely important in a bonding application and must be done very thoroughly. This can be done using the Scotch-Brite pad supplied or if you have access to a sander, you can use sandpaper. Just don't use anything over 180 grit. We'll start by thoroughly etching the surface. Etching helps remove any waxes, mold release agents, anti-fouling paint, and just any other contaminant. Once the surface looks like this and is dull, you know you've done the job correctly. Step two, cleaning. To clean the area, apply a cleaning solution such as alcohol, acetone, or xylene to a paper towel in a well-ventilated area. Don't use paint thinner or other petroleum-based cleaners. They will leave a film and compromise the bond. While wearing protective gloves, wipe down the etched area of the hole. Be sure to swap your paper towels often as we want to make sure the paper towel comes back clean. Step three, priming. Activate the primer by bending and breaking the glass vial inside, similar to breaking a glow stick. Liquid primer will come to the surface and now you're ready to apply the primer. If the sponge dries up at the end, just tip it upside down and shake it a little bit, squeeze it, and more primer will appear to the surface. The 3M primer tends to evaporate pretty quickly. Apply a thin coat, just make sure you have uniform coverage. The back of the kill guard is manufactured with a pressure sensitive adhesive. It is protected with a red plastic liner that's been scored into three sections to help align the kill guard during installation. Pull back the center strip about six inches. It's important that we don't touch the kill guard adhesive or the hole where it's been prepped. If we do, the oils in our hands can possibly contaminate the bonding process and lead to adhesion failure. Line up the center groove of the kill guard with the center of the keel. 
it is crucial that the kill guard is aligned where you want it because once the adhesive makes contact with the hole, it is there to stay and cannot be realigned. As you work your way down the keel, pull back the center lining approximately a foot or two at a time and keep the outer two liners on for now. Keep in mind, this adhesive is pressure sensitive. The burnishing tool does a great job allowing you to apply quite a bit of pressure. After attaching the center portion the entire length of the kill guard, we can move on to either side and repeat the process. I recommend removing the tape. While working on the sides of the kill guard, apply pressure first in the center and work your way out to avoid air bubbles. After we've applied the kill guard with the burnishing tool and applied quite a bit of pressure, keep in mind this is pressure sensitive adhesive. The more pressure the better, so I'm going to go up over it with a rubber mallet. After installation is complete, the boat is ready to go back on the water. Be sure to check out our other products at KillGuard.com and thanks again for your MegaWare KillGuard purchase.